Hi guys, I'm going to see if I can make a quick video before I go out to work in the morning to keep you guys entertained. So the topic of, of today is my homepage and keeping the sort of homepage dynamic or, or interesting with the up-to-date information. So this all stems from the fact that the YouTube interface is really clunky, especially on my second non-technical channel to find links to, to uh, YouTube videos to share. So now I have a page where I can just go, you know, right click, copy link address and I can share it. And this is what I'm going to tell you how I did it. This, this sort of uh, sidebar here. How did I do it? First, I discovered that YouTube does indeed have uh, RSS feed and, uh, and uh, it's last 17 or whatever, it's last 16 things there. So using that, I can now create a web page with the RSS feed output. I um, created this sort of make file. Um, the main beef of it is this sort of index.js uh, file that um, does the whole feed passing and creates these sort of uh, li uh, what do you call these uh, line items. And then I um, push it to uh, and then I push it to an S3 bucket and I invalidate the uh, CloudFront cache. I really recommend you use CloudFront too. It's really, really, really fast. So this make file runs every day and you're probably thinking, mm, how do you run it every day? Aha, good question. I've done this in so many places now and I really recommend you to do it the same because it's free. Travis is free for open source projects. Uh, you create this Travis file, it's this weird YAML syntax, but basically what it does, um, and also I've, I've created a Travis cron job to run it daily, it, it basically builds that, that make file. And you, obviously you need to install AWS CLI to do the, to do the syncing and, and node um, that's required. Um, and also it's package.js, uh, json.dependencies. So now, yes, I have a page that uh, gets built once a day. So these things are up to date. And, um, and yeah, it's a, it's a better homepage. Than, uh, previously, my homepage was just the stuff on the left. Oh, you might be wondering how I did this side-by-side -side thing. I'm not sure I can recommend it, but this is, I was, um, I did it with CSS Grid. CSS Grid, it's a new thing. It's supported by all the browsers. Um, but I think maybe it's not the, ro the wrong choice in this example because if you see I go here to portrait or something it doesn't look good at all see I think a flex box might be better anyway I hope you enjoyed that little uh, video um, and I wish you a good day and please subscribe and like the video thanks guys bye